Good evening, everybody. We're going to start the gallery session. Sunny Karaj. Karaj. Mr. Microphone, please. And it's two minutes, and you'll get a warning of 30 seconds. All right, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Sunny Correo, and I'm here just to present information to the board and the community that's here tonight um, about a new information campaign called Wildlife Wildlife NYC. So, sorry for interrupting. Please keep your voices down, and let's give a full attention to the speaker. Thank you. Start again. Great. Right, thank you so much, sir. Uh, so I'm just here to give some information about a new information campaign that the city rolled out last fall, and it's uh, ongoing and full steam. It's called Wildlife NYC, um, and your community is sandwiched between two really, well, a lot of really big parks. Obviously, the Bronx has a lot of parkland. Um, wildlife is learning to adapt to live with us, and so now it's our turn to learn to adapt with them. Uh, I have some postcards in the back that has the website uh, for the campaign on there, and basically it's a tool for... Uh, homeowners for businesses to learn more about the wildlife that is in the city uh, and tips on how they can coexist with things like white-tailed deer which is a, a sometimes a big issue in the Bronx uh, as well as raccoons and coyotes um, so that's basically just a brief introduction to the campaign um, it's a multi-agency campaign so I work with parks but it's also the Department of Health the Department of Transportation City Hall um, a lot of people are involved so I can uh, hang out in the back if there's additional questions besides the few that are here right now. Any questions? Okay, thank you. okay great. Yep, I'll be in the back if anyone has questions. Thank you. Next speaker is Grace Lavagia. Oh, yeah. Again, please, no talking. Let's give full attention to each speaker. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Grace Lavagia. We almost see Neighborhood Advisory Board. And we, are, uh, we had our meeting. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about the National Night Out. And we're a little concerned about the location for it, where we heard that it may be at by Bronx Park East or up by Leidig, where they hold the carnival. And what I'm wondering is, can it be moved down closer towards Pelham Parkway, still on Pelham Parkway, but more towards um, Williams Bridge, if, we can, if, if that's a possibility, because it's, I think it's a hardship to go Somewhere else. Yeah. <coughs> Grace, uh, on Pelham Parkway, that's not up to us. That's up to the Parks Department, um, uh, Iris Rodriguez. And um, last year, we were lucky we were able to get where we got because she didn't want to give it to anybody. No group is allowed. She's not allowing any groups to go over there because that's really not a park. And her concern is safety of kids running out and playing. So uh, we are exploring different places to have it. But um, unless we can get her to change her mind, and uh, that doesn't seem very likely, uh, well, not going to be able to put it on Pelham Parkway. Forever or just until they finish their work there? Because I've also heard that now Parks is looking to find people if they're in a park after hours, whatever those are. Um, which, again, these are public parks, and if I, in the summer, if I want to go to the park and sit underneath a tree or something, I don't know, I don't know, I have to worry about being fined or, or being chased down by someone because I'm in my public park. So I think that I think they're overreaching and I'm, we're just concerned. I think the community is concerned because parks is overreaching. They want to keep people out instead of making it more enjoyable for the neighborhood. Well, I can't speak about uh, individuals and the park rules. Uh, the park does have curfews on this. These, this is not a park. Okay, that, that you have to remember. It's not a park. Pelham Parkway is not a park. And um, there is, there's always been um, a risk factor. We've always had it at a good place. We use our cars to block off um, the main road, traffic on the main road. But Iris is, uh, the commissioner uh, is pretty well 
set on that. It's not just us. It's anybody who wants to have an event in on Pelham Parkway. If it's not a park, then Park should have no business saying anything. Well, unfortunately, they're in charge. But Grace, we'll let you know as soon as uh, we find a location, and we want to make it as close to Pelham Parkway as we possibly can. <coughs> The next speaker is David Nackerson from the uh, Public Library. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, use the microphone, please. Oh, hold me. Hi, I can understand your concern about National Night Out. Let me tell you my concern. My concern is that we're much safer in Bronx Park East because when the kids are running around and having a good time. They don't look to see that the cars are coming on both sides. So it would be a little bit inconvenient for people to get to Bronx Park East, but it's just as inconvenient for us, for where we live, to go up to Williamsbridge. But right now, we have to look at the safety of the children. Have we had a problem all these okay. years? No. We never had a problem. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and greetings from Pelham Parkway Van Ness Library. Uh, I'd like to invite you to uh, three special events that are coming up at our library in the next week. I have flyers on the table over here on Chris's table, uh, but the three events I want you to know about that are of uh, community interest. This Saturday, two days from today, April 29th at 1 p.m., uh, local author Robert Nwadiaru uh, will be talking about his book, uh, Nigeria, A Failed State. 